Good morning, friends. It is the Spar Guy, and it is a beautiful day. I'm leaving. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. Yesterday, uh, the flight and getting up early and all that stuff took its toll on me. I'm getting old, y'all. And uh, we didn't get back till late last night. Uh, had a great time with uh, the Corley family. And uh, Lori and Caroline left this morning and went to the Magic Kingdom and went ahead on. So you can see where we're staying at. Just a beautiful place, very tropical in nature. Old Key West is where we're at. And so I'm headed down to the bus. And of course, you know, I had back surgery. Um, two weeks ago, not even two weeks ago. This Friday will be two weeks, I think. And uh, But I'm doing good and I'm walking and, and feeling real good. I, I just needed some extra rest and I want to show you something. Of course, we're on, we're on Disney property. I'm sorry I covered up the covered up the thing, but you see there's Mickey's. Mickey's everywhere. Mickey's everywhere, ladies and gents. Mickey's everywhere. So, I'm headed to the to the bus and I'm headed to the Magic Kingdom as it were. And uh we're going to go have some fun today. So, y'all stay tuned. We don't see that every day. Is that a banana truck? So I'm waiting right here, friends, and a bus goes. Just a little cabana that you wait in. Normally, this thing will tell you the time that it comes. The bus driver for this bus just told me it will be about 10 minutes. So we're going to sit right here, relax, and uh, have a good time. And do you see it lift the bus up? Actually, lower the bus down so it's easy. And I also noticed yesterday that they said that the the whole fleet of Disney buses runs off of 50% uh, cooking oil. So I think the oil that they may use to cook at the restaurants, once it's done, they actually burn it in the buses, believe it or not. So pretty smart. These guys are, are not uh, making a killing for no reason. They're smart. I wish I had a video. There was a lady that had one of those little carts right here, and she bumped into everything out here before she could get out that door. And I should have videoed it. I could. I, I should. I almost caught myself on that one. I missed out. Hello, everyone. You missed out. Welcome aboard. Well, to see that they have all of these have names on them. I really couldn't make them out, but they always, I see what it says. It says like E19040. I don't know what those things mean. This whole thing is paved like that with the exception of a few. You see that there's just a few. But not like that. There's the monorail, which is an amazing device. That thing's been running for a long, long time. And uh, you also have they have real heavy security, which is great. And you see that this truck right here says the Disney Canine Unit. Right here. Disney Security and Canine Unit right there. Love security, think it's important. So, there you are, friends. Dream Builders. You get a good idea and stay with it. Dog it and work it until it's done and done right. Walt Disney. And I go by that mantra, ladies and gentlemen. It's important. So let's look at the, what the monorail track looks like. We're going to walk right up under it. And there's electric. Just right here. That's, it's electric up there. It's a 
beautiful day in the park. It's not too hot. It's actually very cool. You can see it's breezy as well. Very nice. There's my rail right there. Okay. Alright, now we're gonna do this part. Thank you. Thank you. Whoa. Which week did you do? I'm sorry? Thank you. Didn't do it right the first time, evidently. Some friends having surgery not too long ago. I don't want to do any more damage to my body than I already have. Uh, walking all day yesterday, so guess what? That's right. I am on the old man cart. And I'm head, headed into the park. So here we go. This is a, definitely a different experience. And they're still having the uh, Halloween stuff, so there's still going to be a lot of people dressed up. A lot of people dressed up for different things, so different Halloween things. So. But this is nice. So three miles an hour, and I'm not damaging my leg at all. And so there it is, friends. <laughs> Never thought I'd be riding one of these things, uh, but uh, like I say, I don't want to do any more damage than, than I, I hope there is no damage. I hope I'm, I'm recovering well, but wow, it's, uh, it's something else. How's it going? Hey buddy, how are you? I'm good. Boy, nobody pays attention around here, do they? <laughs> <laughs> Boy, the weather is nice. It is cool out here. It's a little breezy. It's just a really nice. We normally come during the summer, and man, it's it's just miserable. And uh, boy, it's very just beautiful, beautiful day. I am excited about eating. I'm hungry. Hungry. So they're getting ready, they're blocking it off. I guess they're getting ready to have a parade or something at some point. So they're blocking some things off here. I think there is a place over here that I can eat that has hot dogs, if I remember. Right oh, excuse me. Sorry, bird. Sorry, bird. So, I'm gonna get me some food. They are themed in here so everybody wears baseball outfits, including the umpire's uh, device on the front, the panel device on the front. It's pretty cool. In fact, it's neat. 
friends, this is what a $15, $14 meal looks like. And look at the size of that hot dog. There's a bottle of water. That is a big foot long hot dog. And I'm fixing to fix it up and eat it. So stay tuned. Here, so here we go, friends. I fixed it up the North Carolina way on this end with a little bit of slaw. German way on this side with a little bit of sauerkraut. Fries, boy, I'm gonna tell you what, I'm fixing to chow a down. So friends, slowly but surely, I'm making it happen. So I'm getting serenaded while I'm eating. That's those guys that were doing that uh, thing yesterday with the, uh, the pike celebration. Great place, my friends. Great place. Casey's Point. Right inside. I've been visiting many times. I have never seen it from this angle before. The, the Terrace Restaurant. I walked, just walked through there. I've never been through there before. So this is kind of new. This is the Webway People Mover up there. I plan on going to ride. So let's go wide the Webway People. Let's go wide it, okay? So I'm about to go on the Webway. People Mover. Wedway is Walter E. Disney Way, People Mover. And that's what we're going to go to right up there. So we're fixing to be on there. And the People Mover is going to take us to a couple different places. It's going to take us, and it actually goes pretty fast in some areas, but we'll be able to kind of overlook uh, the area. And it also take you actually through Space Mountain, which is pretty cool. Another thing it does is this. It's, it's a moving stairway, except for it's not stairs. People, when I look at it on my phone, I'm getting stairs. Just like that. I'm trying to get on the car by myself, so I think I'm going to be able to make that happen. Hey there. How are you? I'm actually this way. So you having fun today? On the way the way people move. Thank you. Did you hear her say watch your step? Oh. So we're going to see where we've been. Is what we're going to do, not where we're going. We're going to see where we've been. What do you say? To watch your step, right? <laughs> Thank you. So actually, we're going to see where we're going, ladies and gents. Here we go. It's going to be fun. We're fixing to pick up some speed. Here we go. And this thing's run by magnets. You can see the magnets on the floor right there. This thing's actually operated by these magnets. That's what actually gets it thrust. Pushes it. Going very fast. But that's how it's operating. Along the way, you can preview many of the exciting places you want to be sure to enjoy today while visiting this land of tomorrow. The people move is the perfect angle for people watching. So keep your eyes peeled. I have never ridden that ride up there because I think it spins, and I don't do rides that spin. I've never been up there. There it goes. I'm not a good I don't do spinning rides. I just don't. Not my thing. Go by the castle. Now we're going into Space Mountain. That's 
car number 13 in front of it, so be careful. And that was Walt's idea for the city of the future, the city of tomorrow. There's a great electric machine working for you. It has never come to fruition. But that was what Walt's plan was. Even, even a commercial break while we're on the people mover. We can't. There's that spinning ride I was talking about up there. They're going around and around. That's not as bad as I thought it was. When I have been here a lot of times, so there's a speedway down there. When I was a kid and I would come here, I could not hardly wait to ride those cars because it was a chance to drive drive actually really drive and you see the way they're held in there is they've got this, the metal in the middle and they have rollers on the inside so even if you let go it's still going to make it go straight and that's the way it's held and you see that one car says it's my birthday today that's a contemporary resort over there and now yeah you you heard it space mouth Now we're traveling to the real wonders of our world, Space Mountain. Blacks off on a high-speed outer space adventure and could lead to the cosmos. You got a chance to see one, it's pretty dark in here. Starport 75. Starport 75. Thank you, Mr. Morrow. Mr. Tom Morrow. Please contact Mr. Johnson in the control tower to confirm your flight to the moon. Tom Morrow, friends. Now you see, we're inside. The roller coasters, if I remember right, have glow-in-the-dark stickers on the side. So once we get in a spot where they're around us, we should be able to see them zooming around. So that was actually inside of the Space Mountain. And they have, like I say, stickers on the sides of the cars that glow in the dark. Or, yeah, that, so you can Welcome see them flying around. Be sure to visit Space Mountain while you're here for an adventure that's out of this world. Out of this world, Space Mountain is. I've heard, I've heard about it. No, I've ridden it many times. Ridden it many times. Those who love the wet way people move and say, ho, oh. oh. <laughs> Look at these kids trying to drive in their butt to each other. These kids are scared to push the gas, and then when they do, they run into each other. What a different high-flying adventure. How long do the Astro Wonder? Your own spacecraft will take a spin around the planet and ascend to other world heights. Inside this room, 
Old families welcome you into their homes of yesterday and today, starting way back at the turn of the 20th century. There's the Carousel of Progress. And what that is, is actually a thing where you sit in like, um, I wouldn't call it stadium seating, but it's, it's seating like you're in a theater. And instead of, and they've got four different stages, but instead of the stages moving, the th you, you move. So the seating actually moves around four times to four different stages where they have, anim it's really kind of got animation, it's got robots in it more or less that act that's uh, animatronics type thing and and um, it's it's interesting uh, there was an early one that had Abraham Lincoln in it but I don't think that's I don't think that's up there anymore. All in all space Raiders, this is Buzz Lightyear and support your star group for joining me on this daring space mission. I'm gonna see you on our server. As an honorary space ranger you'll use your own personal laser cannon to save the entire galaxy. Nobody really wants to save the entire galaxy. I've, I've been there, the galaxy is not that great. You know what I mean? There's parts of the galaxy that are not that great. The first time I rode this Wedway People Mover was about 1979, so drop in and join about 35 years ago, roughly. Uh, 79, 78, somewhere along in there. And it's basically, it's the same thing as it was back then. It's amazing that this stuff is still here, still operating, still going along. But that is what it does, friends. What you see right here that it's doing is what it does. So we're coming back into the station. So they're calling it a different name. The, the, he said the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. It was always called the Wedway People Mover for Walter E. Disney. Wedway, it was Walter's Way. Just saying. And what I love is they always say, watch your step. Watch your step, right? Watch your step. <laughs> they all say it. Vlog over. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spa Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globe Trotting with Trey. He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.